Okay, so in your user tree, we have folders, as we spoke about before. These folders actually correspond to the drawing style palette itself. As you click on each folder, you have a series of ticks. The ticks on the right hand side indicate which drawing styles are visible in the palette. If you have a folder structure uh, that has no ticks in it, this palette will not be visible or this folder will not be visible. Okay, so as you go through them, you can see they all have lots of ticks in them. As you get down further into some of the other ones that don't have the numbers in, there's no ticks. That doesn't mean they don't exist, it just means you don't see them. If you do want to turn one of these folders on, or you create a new folder, you simply tick one of these on, apply, and you would need to close down your advanced steel palette, close down advanced steel, reopen advanced steel, and reopen the palette, and the palette should refresh itself based on what is in the folder structure. If I wanted to create my own folder structure, for example, I want to create my own assembly drawings, I would come in here and I would click New, which is just the third button along. You would then create a folder structure, say Company ABC, uh, uh, let's say Assembly Drawings, or let's say, let's not do that, let's do GA Drawings, pick OK. The important part is, every time you make a change, you should hit Apply. Now you will see we have a folder structure here. We don't have any styles in here yet, but as we go later on, you'll see we will get a style, we'll make it current, and then we'll show you how you must close down the palette, advanced still, reopen advanced still, and reopen the palette to make that category visible.